what is Teflon flu and how do you prevent it? Well, now that you guys have seen all the propaganda scare and all the other BS about Teflon flu, you need to know some facts about Teflon. It's toxic, pure and simple, it's toxic. And somebody got the bright idea back in the day. I don't remember exactly when. And I'm not looking it up because I really don't trust Google. And I can't remember offhand. So there's that. Somebody got the bright idea to put it on cooking pans and everything else. So they did. And around the time they did it, they had the same problem as what they call the Teflon flu now. But then it was called something else. And I don't remember the exact name of it. And I don't really care. Because it's irrelevant to me. So they had the problem and it was because stupid people didn't know how to follow the directions. It was a new product. The very beginning now, the first year or so, I can understand because the um, they were still trying to work out the kinks on the formula and everything else. But after that, it was just stupid people who didn't know how to follow directions. Because I had a lot of Teflon stuff. I stopped using Teflon because I started raising the exotic birds. And if you get Teflon at a certain temperature for any period of time, it can, and most of the time it kills exotic birds. It's something about the fumes. I don't remember exactly. I looked it up 20 years ago when I first started doing that. So I don't remember exactly what the combination is. I just know once it hits a certain temperature, it starts giving off those fumes. And anytime you scratch it, it starts the process as well. Well, now we have this called Teflon flu, which is a nice buzzword for propaganda for the news media because they're using whatever they can to get attention. It's not a flu. It's from fumes. It's not a flu. They're trying to make it sound like it spreads through breathing. It's not. It spreads through stupid people not knowing how to cook and follow the directions is what causes it. Just like anything that's new to a generation, there's always a problem with it because they don't have enough common sense at that point in time to follow the directions. An example, the front end loaders of a dishwasher. I remember when they first came out, I was one of the ones that bought one. There was a big ass lawsuit over it. You know why? Because stupid ass people didn't know how to follow directions. All they had to do was leave open the door and then there wouldn't be no mold or anything else that would build up inside it. People didn't have that common sense, so they shut it. So then it became this whole lawsuit. I don't remember the, the um, brand. I had the brand. And then I they sent me a letter. I get X amount of dollars. And I was like, do this shit in the garbage. Fuck that shit. It just cost me more money later on. I knew how to use it, and it was that. Same thing with the Teflon. I knew how to use it, and it was that. Anytime that I had a pan that had a scratch on it, threw that bitch in the garbage instantly. I didn't take a chance. Now, I know there's a lot of foreigners and illegals and all kinds of other shit in this country now, and they kind of don't know how that Teflon works because I think it was – it might have been released in other countries. I can't remember. There was a lady I used to do work for. She's from, um, uh, goddamn, she's from the same place Akon's from, and I can't remember the, the, goddamn, synagogue, over in Africa, she's from synagogue, <laughs> and this lady is a trip, she will cook with anything, she took a damn rice cooker that's got Teflon, it's, you have to look it up, it's aluminum and Teflon, <laughs> and she took it and stuck it on a damn stove, and I'm like, Lady, what are you doing? Well, blah, blah. I said, no, you're going to kill yourself and your damn kids. Oh, no, I'm not. Blah, 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 blah. So, uh, whatever, man. I wasn't in the house when she did this shit anymore. I wasn't there. But shit like that, you've got to understand what it is and how to use it. And the other thing, and I do understand this, because you entitled clowns wasn't taught how to cook. And, well, Gen X really wasn't taught either. <laughs> we either figured it out or whatever. But I was one of the few that got lucky. 
the my dad's ex-wife didn't teach me how to cook. The bitch didn't even know how to cook herself. Now my dad, he was a badass cook when I moved in with him. I learned a lot of shit how to, I learned it was badass. I got to learn how to cook. I did really good and I should have took that as a career and I just couldn't keep my mouth shut. That's another one. So I understand that my generation really didn't know how to cook and this and that and we figured it out. But most of my generation didn't teach you guys, the millennials, and then the millennials didn't teach Gen Z, so you guys are burning shit up, and then now you're trying to figure out who to sue, because now you're sick for something that you made a poor choice on. So there's that with the Teflon. Now, you have, like what I got, it says ceramic coating. I bought them when they first come out uh, 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, Sweeney Todd or something like that was one of the first ones that come out with it. And it was garbage. But at a certain temperature, it was toxic too. Now they have a newer type of ceramic that is supposed to do all the same things Teflon does, but without the toxic fumes. But again, read the directions on them. Most of the pans, especially the ones you get at Walmart, I think there's only two brands. Uh, let me see. I got the box of one. Of them. Where the hell is it? Gotham Steel and I think another one that you buy at Wally World that has the ceramic coating will go up to 450 I think. Everything else is 350 Everything else is 350 And literally, if you exceed that temperature, you're going to smell it real fast. And if your house is not ventilated while you're doing this, you're going to get really sick. And you're really going to make your animals sick because they are more susceptible to it too. Again, back when the, the Teflon issue, back in the day, it was killing dogs and cats like crazy because it was messing with the respiratory system and they couldn't handle it. Infants, it was making them sick real bad. Again, because people wouldn't follow in the directions. That's why most of the time I use stainless steel everything. But because I'm in this little shitbox of a camper, we couldn't find one that was fairly cheap. Of where we're at, it was three times as much as what I paid for it at home. So I got what I got. So far, it's half-assed, but I have to be very mindful because I'm in a little shitbox. And I got me a little plate that tells me what the temperature is of each setting so that way i know what not to go over am i a genius fuck no i got common sense <gasps> i'm sorry did i say that hello that's right nobody's got common sense anymore my bad it ain't so common but anyway just be mindful about what you're doing follow the directions i know you ass clowns are entitled and you could do whatever you want but you need to start following the directions that it comes with there is a reason why everything has directions because some dumbass probably a whole bunch of dumbasses have already done made the mistakes of fucking shit up so that you don't have to and i i, I understand i'm like that sometimes i don't follow directions but when it comes to really important shit i do I have to because I have three dogs that are very important to me. So I'm very cautious about what I do with them ar around, especially my little shit box. Me? Nah, not so much. I've survived this far. I survived childhood. What else could go wrong? 